Welcome to the lecture series on numerical methods. In this lecture series, we are just uh, discussing this numerical differentiation based on interpolation. And in the previous lecture, I have discussed uh, this uh, uh, like uh, differentiation based on this uh, Newton's uh, divided difference uh, interpolation and uh, this error differentiations. And in this lecture, we will just continue about uh, this uh, differentiation using this uh, central difference approximations and uh, some of uh, this uh, finite difference approximations like uh, based on finite difference operators. So, if you will just uh, go for this uh, error term analysis based on this uh, Newton's forward difference formula. So, usually this uh, error terms for this Newton's uh, forward difference approximation is written in the form like R n plus 1 x this equals to omega x f to the power n plus 1 zeta by n plus 1 factorial. Oh yeah, this uh, omega x is usually written in the form like x minus x 0, x minus x 1 to x minus x n here. And uh, in terms of p, if you will just write, then it can be written in the form like p into p minus 1 up to p minus n h to the power n plus 1 and uh, f to the power n plus 1 zeta by n plus 1 factorial here. Since usually we are just expressing p as x minus x naught by h and uh, that is why obviously we can just replace that one as in the form of p minus 1, p minus 2 that I have discussed in the previous lectures. So, this zeta value can be determined as minimum of uh, x 0 to x n, this should be lies between zeta and uh, maximum of uh, x 0 to x n here. So, if you, we want to differentiate this error term here, then this error term r n plus 1 x can be written as r n plus 1 dash of x, which can be expressed as uh, h to the power since uh, it is the constant here h to the power n plus 1 d by dx of p into p minus 1 up to p minus n f to the power n plus 1 zeta by n plus 1 factorial here. Plus, if you will just uh, consider here plus h to the power n plus 1 d by dx of your f to the power n plus 1 zeta by n plus 1 factorial into the product of uh, p terms here that is p into p minus 1 up to p minus n here. Since zeta is a function of uh, x, so that is why we have to differentiate this one with respect to x also here. So, if you will just uh, go for this uh, uh, like uh, elimination of process here, then we can just find that h to the power n it will just come since if you will just see d by dx usually it can be written in the form of like d by dp into dp by dx. So, dp by dx that will just give you 1 by h here since usually we are just uh, expressing x is as x 0 plus p h here. So, that is why if you will just write this one as uh, dp by dx here which can be written as 1 by h here. Obviously, this differentiation can be replaced as d by dp of the total function p into p minus 1 to p minus n into dp by dx here. So, that is why this h term is coming and uh, the final representation it can be written in the form of like h to the power n if you will just write into d by dp of p into p minus 1 up to p minus n f to the power n plus 1 zeta by n plus 1 factorial plus the remaining term. And if you will just uh, apply this differentiation since in the earlier lecture we have just uh, derived this uh, differentiation of uh, f to the power n plus 1 zeta there. So, that is just completely expressed in the form of like uh, divided difference form there. But here, if we want to express this differentiation in the form of like Newton's forward difference operators here, then this forward difference operator can be replaced here 
this f to the power n plus 1 zeta as delta to the power n plus 1 y 0 by n plus 1 factorial here. Obviously, we can just uh, express this one in delta form here since in all of these lectures I have just explained that this tabular values is known to us, but the function is not known explicitly to us. So, that is why if this tabular values has been given to us directly we can just uh, approximate this error term by considering all of these tabular values, even if this differentiations can be approximated by using this uh, forward difference table here. And if you just write this difference terms here in terms of a Newton's forward difference operator. So, this can be written in the form of like del to the power n plus 1 y 0 divided by n plus 1 factorial into h to the power n plus 1 here. So, once it can be expressed in this a uh, divided difference form sorry this forward difference form here, then we can just uh, obtain this a uh, f to the power n plus 2 zeta term since you will if you will just take the differentiation of uh, f to the power n plus 1 zeta by n plus 1 factorial. So, that will just give you f to the power n plus 2 zeta by n plus 1 factorial into zeta dash x there. So, that is why it can be expressed in the form of like del to the power n plus 2 y 0 by n plus 2 factorial h to the power n plus 2 there. And obviously, if you will just uh, write all these terms here, then this can be expressed as a d by dp of p into p minus 1 into p minus 2 up to p minus n del to the power n plus 1 y 0 by n plus 1 factorial into h plus p into p minus 1 up to p minus n into del to the power n plus 2 y 0 by n plus 2 factorial into h there. Since h to the power n plus 1 is there and it can just cancel it out with h to the power n plus 2 and 1 by h is left over there. Since at x equals to x 0 obviously, we are just obtaining p equals to 0 if x equals to x 0 there. And at that point, we can just write this error terms differentiation that is r plus 1 r of n plus 1 dash of x 0, this can be written as minus 1 whole to the power n n factorial del to the power n plus 1 y 0 by n plus 1 factorial h here. Since if you will just see this uh, expansion here that is d by dp of p into p minus 1 to p minus n at p equals to 0 is nothing but minus 1 whole to the power n n factorial here. And uh, that is why this uh, rn plus 1 dash x 0 can be written as uh, minus 1 whole to the power n del to the power n plus 1 y 0 by n plus 1 into h also sometimes. Since uh, n plus 1 factorial it just take the product of uh, n factorial into n plus 1. So, that is why n plus 1 remained over there. So, based on this uh, error approximation, so we will just go for a computation of uh, error in the Newton's forward interpolation formula. So, for that if you will just consider a table like x is prescribed at 2, 2.20, 2.40, 2.60, 2.80 and 3.00 here. And corresponding y values if it is just given like 0 0.6932, 0 0.7885, 0 0.8755, 0 0.9555, 0 1.0296, 1.0296 here. Then the first differences if you just compute here that is as the difference of 0 0.7885 minus 0 0.6932. Since already we have derived a lot of uh, this uh, forward difference uh, approximations in the tabular form. So, that is why it is easy to compute since we will just consider this difference of uh, like uh, two values corresponding tabular values uh, like uh, associated to each other there. So, 0 0.7885 minus 0 0.6932 this just gives you the values as a 0 0.0953. Difference of a 0 0.57855 minus 0 0.7885 this is just giving you the values as a 0 0.0870. The difference of these two values 0 0.8755 minus sorry this is 0 0.9555 minus 0 0.8755 this is just giving you 0 0.0800. Then 1.0296 minus 0 0.9555, this is just giving you 0 0.0741. Then the difference of 1.0986 minus 1.0296, this is just giving you 0 0.0690 here. Similarly, we can just obtain the second differences here, third differences and fourth differences. So, based on this, if uh, the tabular point is asked to, to compute up to third differences and then obtain this. Uh, error term, then we obviously we can just write this one as the 
fourth term there since the divided difference uh, up to third order can be approximated in a polynomial form there. Immediate next term can be considered as the error term for that position. Therefore, the error term can be written in the form like R 4 of x here. So, usually this R 4 of uh, uh, x 0 it can be written in the form of like uh, if you will just see here R 4 of x can be written as uh, like uh, omega x f to the power 4 of zeta by 4 factorial. So, especially it can be written if you will just write in a complete form here. So, R 4 of x can be written as omega of x f to the power 4 of zeta by 4 factorial here. And in a differentiation form if you will just write R 4 dash of x this can be written as minus 1 whole to the power n that is n equals to 3 there and then we can just write del to the power 4 of y 0 by n plus 1 this means n is 3 here. So, 3 plus 1 into h here. So, obviously if you will just put directly in the tabular values here. So, R 4 dash of x 0 this can be written as minus 1 whole to the power 3 del to the power 4 of uh, y 0 by 4 h here. And at that point exactly if the error is asked to suppose at x 0 equals to 2.00 here since uh, the beginning of the tabular values is 2.00 here. So, R 4 days of 2.00 it can be written as like uh, minus 1 whole to the power 3. So, that will just give you a minus sign here and uh, this uh, your a size is like a 0 0.20 here. So, that is why minus 1 by 0 0.20 into 1 by 4 into your del to the power 4 value that is just giving you minus 0.002 here. So, obviously, if I will just write here this can be written in the form of like absolute values of minus 1 by h into 1 by 4 into del to the power 4 of y 0 here and this is nothing but minus 1 by 0 0.20 into since this value is just giving you like minus 0. 0002 here by 4. So, this can be written in this form here and obviously, this value is just giving you 0 0.0025 here. So, if you will just define this uh, like uh, differentiation using like finite difference operators. So, finite difference operator means we can just consider that shift operator here. Shift operator is e usually expressed in the form of e of f of x here. So, e of f of x is usually written in the form like f of x plus h here and f of x plus h can be expressed in the form of Taylor series as a h d of f of x h d whole square by factorial 2 f double s of x plus rest of the terms. And usually it can be represented as 1 plus h d plus h d whole square by factorial 2 plus this one into f of x here. And obviously, it can be written in the form of e to the power h d f of x here. And finally, we are just expressing the shift operator e as e to the power h d here. That we have just expressed in the earlier lectures that uh, d equals to d by d x here that is nothing but the derivative here and which can be expressed in the form of like forward difference operator, backward difference operator, central difference operators. In any form we can just express this shift operator. So, based on that we can just say that this operators can also be expressed in the differential operator form also there. That means that d by d x can be expressed in the form of like a delta, nabla or central difference operators like a small delta and average operators like mu there itself. So, if you will just express uh, this differential operators in the form of like uh, forward difference operator like first difference if you will just consider for this Newton's forward difference operators at a point k. Then we can just write h d of f of x k can be expressed in the forward difference form as a del of f of x k minus half del square of f of x k plus 1 by 3 del q of f of x k minus up to finite number of terms. Similarly, this 
defined a difference sorry this uh, differential operator can also be expressed in a backward difference form that can be expressed as uh, nabla of fk plus half del square of uh, fk plus 1 by 3 delta q of fk so likewise we can also express and uh, also in central difference approximations this can be written as delta of uh, fk minus 1 square by 2 square 3 factorial delta q of fk plus 1 square into 3 square by 2 to the power 4 5 factorial del to the power 5 fk so likewise we can just express this differential operators in various operator form so the same way also we can just express this uh, second order uh, differentiations also this means that second order differentiation we can just consider that one as uh, h square f double dash of xk and this is nothing but uh, hd you can just write so hd can be written as uh, like uh, again one more differentiation we can just consider this uh, for this expansion of uh, newton's forward difference operators backward difference operator or the central difference operators so if you just consider this uh, operators once more here this can be expressed as a del square of fk minus del q of fk plus 11 by 12 del to the power 4 of xk for uh, forward difference operators. Similarly, we can just express this one in a backward difference operator that is in the form of uh, nabla square fk plus nabla q fk plus 11 by 12 nabla to the power 4 of fk plus all other terms. And in a general form if you will express this one as uh, h to the power r d to the power r here. So, this can be expressed as del to the power r minus half r del to the power r plus 1 plus r into 3 l plus 5 by 24 del to the power r plus 2 minus all other terms are there. Similarly, if you will just take this uh, backward difference operator that it can be expressed as uh, nabla to the power r plus half r nabla to the power r plus 1 plus r into 3 r plus 5 by 24 nabla to the power r plus 2 plus all other terms. And uh, if you will just use this central difference operator to express this uh, rth order derivative of uh, any function, then it can be expressed as uh, small delta to the power r minus r by 24 small delta to the power r plus 2 plus r into 5 r plus 22 by 5760 small delta to the power r plus 4 minus all other terms it can be expressed up to finite number of terms. So, next we will just go for central difference approximation how we can just use this differentiations for central difference approximation like Stallings formula and Bessel's formula here. For the Stallings formula already we have derived this expression for Stallings formula that is expressed in the form of like uh, the central difference approximations uh, for Stallings formula usually it is written in the form of like yp or y of x or y of xp can be written as y0 plus p mu delta of y0 plus p square by 2 factorial delta square of y0 p plus 1 3 mu delta q of y0 plus all other terms are there. So, if you just differentiate with respect to x here that can be written as dy by dx this is 1 by h since uh, usually this expression can be written in the form like uh, dy by dp into dp by dx. So, that is why dp by dx is nothing but 1 by h and d by dp of your expression y0 plus p mu delta of y0 plus p square by 2 factorial delta square of y0 plus all other terms are there. If you will just differentiate this one with respect to p here, this can just give you 1 by h, first term it will just give you 0, second term mu delta of y0 here plus 2p by 2 factorial, so p delta square of y0 plus the third factor if you will just take this one that will just give you 3p square minus 1 by 6 mu delta q y0 plus all other terms. And if you will just take uh, one more differentiation of uh, this scheme here that is d square y by dx square, it can be written as 1 by h square. So, first term is uh, just treated as a constant here, then it will just start from this uh, immediate next term. So, del, del square of y0 here, so 3 into 2 into p here, so 6 by 6 cancel it out. 
So, that is why it can be written as P mu delta Q of Y0 plus rest of the terms here. Similarly, we can just use this uh, formulation for uh, like uh, Bessel's formula here. So, Bessel's formula usually it is expressed as uh, like Y p equals to Y of x p that has a mu Y of half here. So, if you just write this one as Y p in uh, Bessel's formula here, this is for Stalling's formula here. For Bessel's formula, usually this uh, Yp is written in the form like mu Y of half plus P minus half delta Y of half here plus P2. mu delta square y of half plus p 2 p minus half by 3 delta q of y of half here. So, plus all other terms. If you just take the differentiation here, the same form we, we can just write dy by dx, this is 1 by h. The first term we, we can just take here as uh, like delta y of a half here. So, then plus 2p minus 1 by 2 mu delta square y of a half, then 6p square minus 6p plus 1 by 12 mu delta q of y of a half plus all other terms there. Similarly, if you will just take this second differentiation here, that can be written in the form of 1 by h square mu delta square y of half since if you will just take the differentiation of second term here since first term is constant here. Second term if you will just take that can be represented as mu delta square of a half here plus 6 p square means 12 p minus it is like 6 here. So, that is why 2 p minus 1 by 2 delta q of y of half plus all other terms we can just write. So, based on this if you will just go for an example here since central difference approximations usually it can be approximated at center of the table here where for both of these formulas we have defined this uh, approximate parameter so that where it can be used. So, in that regard if you just consider this table as uh, like uh, x is defined at 1.00, 1.50, 2.00, 2.50, 3.00, 3.50 3 all are equispaced points with space size 0 0.5 suppose with this uh, corresponding y values as 1, 1.1447, 1.2599. 1.3572, 1.4422, 1.5183 here. Then, if you just use this first differences for all these values, we can just obtain this one as 1.1447, sorry, 0 0.1447, 0 0.1152, 0 0.0973, 0 0.0850, 0 0.0761 for first differences. For second differences, if you just take the differences of immediate next terms. 0 0.1152 minus 0 0.1447 here, then that will just give you minus 0 0.0295 here. Similarly, if you will just take the difference of 0 0.0973 minus 0 0.1152, this will just give you minus 0 0.0179 here. And if you will take the difference of 0 0.0850 minus 0 0.0973, this will just give you minus 0 0.0123 here. If you will just take the difference of 0 0.0761 and 0 0.0850 that will just give you minus 0 0.0089. Similarly, we can just define this third difference, fourth differences and fifth differences here. Since we have here 6 points, so that is why you can just consider the differences up to fifth order here. And if it is asked to use uh, this uh, Stallings formula and Bessel's formula for this error approximation of to suppose third order term here. So, of to third order we can just consider and immediate next term we can just consider the error form here. First we have computed this uh, derivatives at that values like uh, suppose the value is asked to compute this derivative as 2.40 here. So, that is why we can just put here y dash x is defined as 1 by h mu delta of y 0 plus p delta square of y 0 plus 3 p square minus 1 by 6 mu delta q of y 0 here. So, that is why we can just use h is 0 0.5 here 1 by 0 0.5. So, average of uh, these two this is like mu delta can be written as uh, like uh, your values we can just write 
delta y of 1 plus delta y 0 by 2 there. So, that is why it can be written as 0 0.0973 plus 0 0.0850 by 2 there. Directly you can just express in the form of like a, if we want to write this one as a mu delta here. So, mu delta can be written as e to the power half plus e to the power minus half by 2 into e to the power half minus e to the power minus half here. If we will just take the product here, we can just obtain this one as e minus e of minus 1 by 2 here. So, obviously, we can just write this one as f of x plus h minus f of x minus h by 2. So, that is why we are just uh, using this differentiation if you will just see as 0 0.0973 plus 0 0.0850 here by 2. So, using all this uh, we can just uh, obtain this values as 0 0.1866 here. The second order formula if you will just use here that is y double s of x here. So, y double s of x it is just uh, given as 1 by h square delta square of y 0 plus p mu delta q of y 0 plus all other points. So, similarly h is given as a 0 0.5 here. So, that is why 1 by 0 0.5 square here we have considered and delta square of y 0 that is nothing but the second order differentiation of uh, this central uh, sorry this uh, forward difference table also. So, that is why it is can be considered as minus 0 0.0123 here plus p value that is given as a minus 0 0.2 into the average of uh, delta q values we have just considered here and the rest of the values can be defined in the same form here. And finally, we are just obtaining y double dash of 2.40 as minus 0 0.0518 here. And uh, if you just use this uh, uh, formula for uh, the point 2.80 here, then we can just use Bessel's formula for that since p range is lying between 0 0.25 to 0 0.75 within that range especially we can just use Bessel's formula. So, for that if you will just uh, find here the derivative of y of x is usually written as 1 by h delta y of half plus 2 p minus 1 by 2 mu delta square y of half plus 6 p square minus 6 p plus 1 by 12 mu delta q y of half here. So, if you will just put this values like 1 by 0 0.5, 0 0.0850 plus 2 into 0 0.6 minus 1. So, all of the terms it can be placed accordingly. Then we can just obtain this uh, first order derivative uh, at 2.80 as 0 0.1676 here. So, the second order formula if you will just use here that is in the form of like 1 by h square mu delta square y of half plus 2 p minus 1 by 2 delta q y of half. So, then we can just obtain at the point 2.80 as since already we have obtained that h is 0 0.5 here. So, that is why this can be written as 1 by h square means 1 by 0 0.5 whole square. So, then mu delta square y of half if you will just take mu as the average value here. So, delta square half we can just write this one as delta of delta of y of half and we can obtain the values in the form of like minus 0 0.0089 minus 0 0.0123 divided by 2 here plus 2 p minus 1. So, p is given as a 0 0.6 here 2 into 0 0.6 minus 1 by 2 into delta q y of half this is nothing but uh, directly we can just obtain from this uh, divided difference formula here sorry this forward difference formula and the final value is obtained as minus 0 0.0410 as this one. Thank you for uh, listening this lecture.